Number 85. What is the effect on the concentration of ammonia, hydroxide ion, and ammonium ion when the following are added to a basic buffer solution of equal concentrations of ammonia and ammonium nitrate? Okie dokie. So, in this case, we're adding potassium iodide to a buffer solution that contains ammonia and ammonium nitrate, and we have to figure out what the effect of these three guys are, right? We're, so we're talking about what's going to happen to the ammonia, and ammonia is always NH3, so anytime that you see NH3, that's ammonia. Hydroxide ion is OH-, so we got to figure out what's going on there. And ammonium, which is a polyatomic, which is NH4+. Okay, now when they're asking for what's going to happen to the effect, that means, is the ammonium going to increase, is it going to decrease, or is there not going to be any effect? So, the first thing we have to do is we have to write a balanced equation. Now, since I noticed that they want us to find out what hydroxide is, I'm going to write the equation in terms of a uh, basic solution. And if we want to have hydroxide in our equation, you have to start off with the base. Between NH3 and NH4, NH3 is the base because it has one less hydrogen than the NH4+. So I'm going to start off with ammonia. So I'm going to say NH3. And since that's a weak base, that's aqueous. And now since we're starting off with the base, we always have to add water. You can't get a balanced equation if you're starting off with the base without water. And remember, water is a liquid. And ammonia is a weak base, so it has to be in equilibrium with the conjugate acid, which is the ammonium, NH4+. That's aqueous. And then the H2O will strip away one of its hydrogens, becoming the hydroxide, OH-. Okay. Now we have the balanced equation. Now just know that we want to find out what's going to happen with these concentrations. And they told us that we're starting off with ammonia. So that's over here. But we're starting off with ammonium nitrate. So just to, for clarification, ammonium nitrate is coming from the two polyatomics, ammonium and nitrate. If I put together... The NH4+, plus, that's ammonium, and nitrate, which is NO3-, minus, this would be a one-to-one -one if we did the crisscross right all the way back in Gen Chem, but the compound would basically be NH4NO3. But keep in mind that NO3- minus comes from HNO3, and HNO3, nitric acid, is one of your six strong acids. And since that is so, 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 so strong, the conjugate base is going to be so weak that it's basically classified as neutral. So in terms of acidity or basicity, the NO3 has nothing to do with it. We don't even care that this exists. We just care about the ammonium, which is right here. So that kind of clears that up. Now, let's go for what we're adding. We have to break this down as well. So potassium iodide... Ki, it's a salt, right, because it's an ionic compound. There's only two elements here, so the break has to be between the K and the I. The K breaks down into K+, plus, and the I breaks down into I-. minus. Now, if we're going to change the concentrations here, one of these should be found in the uh, balanced equation. However, if I look at the balanced equation, there's no potassium, Right? There's no K anywhere in here, and there's no iodine. Right? Now, the reasoning for this one is, remember, KOH comes from the really, really strong base. Oh, sorry, did I say KOH? I already gave you the, I already gave you the answer. K plus comes from the really, really strong base, KOH. And just like the reasoning going back to here, if you came from something that's really, really strong the conjugate is going to be so weak that it's classified as neutral. So we don't even care about this component. But if we do the same thing for I, this came from HI, which is a really, really strong acid. So the conjugate is so weak 
that we don't care about it. So Ki is a neutral salt, and any neutral salt has nothing to do with any effect on concentrations for an acid or a basic solution. So for all of these, there is no effect. Because you can add as much Ki as you want. It's neutral, so it doesn't affect the acidity or the basicity of the solution. And that's it. That's this one, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I shall see you all in later lessons. I think uh, we have a few more parts for this, so hang tight if you guys are on the playlist, all right? See you in a few. Bye-bye.